Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Now, uh, let's discuss further into conics or conic sections, and now I'll look at shifted conics. And uh, in this video, I'll cover uh, ellipses, or I'll be I'll be shifting ellipses as well as circles, which are uh, again circles are just uh, just a special kind of ellipse. So let's just jump right ahead. So recall that an equation of the circle with center the origin or at 0, 0 and radius r is just uh, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And you could see my earlier videos on the circle. And I also show that in my earlier videos that uh, also recall that if the center of the circle is the point h and k, then the equation of the circle just becomes x minus h all squared plus y minus k all squared equals r squared. In other words, the x and the y gets replaced with x minus h and y minus k. So you could uh, watch my earlier video on that, but also in this video I'll cover it, why it is as well. So similarly, if we take the ellipse, of which a circle is just an ellipse with a equals b equals r, so the, recall that, that an ellipse, the equation of an ellipse as I showed in my earlier video is just uh, x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by b squared equals 1. And I'll just put a quick note here. So note for a circle, if a equals to b equals to r, then what we end up having is, so if that's the case, then we have x squared over r squared plus y squared over r squared equals to 1. Then we can multiply both sides by r. So we just get, oh yeah, so we could just go multiply. Yeah, we just multiply both sides by r. All these r's cancel, and we'll have it on the right side. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. In other words, we get a circle. So there's our circle. <laughs> so just a note there. Yeah, so anyways, now I just quickly uh, recapped on that. So now if we take this ellipse, this formula, just like with the uh, circle formula, if we translate it, i.e. or shift it, so that it centers the point h and k, because this one is the center is just a origin, 0, 0, then its equation becomes, and I'll graph this, uh, I'll show this graphically as well. So now we be, now this becomes, let's go back here, yeah, so this is the x that gets replaced with uh, x minus h there. So we get x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals to 1. Now we can see this graphically as well. So what I'll do now is I'll show you how we can shift it or how this all relates graphically. Uh, why we could just replace it and then it gets shifted. So if we have, let's say the x and y axis like that, and let's say we have an ellipse at the origin, so this is at zero and zero, and remember uh, that the height of the ellipse is gonna be b, and then this is, it. that's the height, and then it goes something like this, try to make it as neat as I can, draw this a bit better like this. Yeah, so we have that. And then this one also recall that this distance is going to be a like this all the way up to there. Yeah, so this is just a typical ellipse at the origin. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll just put this here oh, or centered at it, but uh, at the origin. So this is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals to 1. So at this point, so what I'll do now is, let's say we had a point here. So when I write in black, this means it's on this axis, and this is the x and y that we have right there. And here, I just moved it over there just because I'll be needing the space there. But yeah, so basically this is the uh, basic uh, ellipse at the origin. Yeah, so now instead, let's say we want to shift this exact one all the way across here, and I'll be drawing this in red. So let's say we draw this all the way over to here. Now the coordinates of this is going to be h and k. Here, actually, I just moved it down a bit. So let's say it's somewhere over there. And now uh, this is going to be the exact same one. So it has a height of b. And then the I'll just draw this um, this width on this other side, or half the width as a, like that. And let's just draw this as neat as I can. <laughs> OK, goes around something like this. All right, so here I just quickly fix that up. So it looks, some, uh, looks a bit better. It looks like that. Let's actually add this there. All right, so there's our lopsided uh, ellipse. So now if we wanted to ship this all, over, all the way over there, so let's take this exact point x and y. I'm gonna put this 
like this. So this is going to be our new x and y, and I'll draw this all in red. So all the, all the stuff in red is relating to if this is the function on this side. And then black is relating to this one over there. So now, since this is the exact same ellipse, the difference now from here all the way across to this point is going to be, well, h. Let's draw this all the way across. I'm going to draw a line all the way. I'll just write this a bit lighter like that. Yeah, all right, so here I just quickly made it a bit neater. So this is going to be h, this distance from all the way here to here. And that's because, well, from this point all the way down here, that's the origin. That's going to be our h. So this is going to be now over at this side. All we're doing, we're shifting exactly by the same amount. So this is going to be, so if this is a new x, that's going to be, this. Is, yeah, this is going to be just x minus h. And all the way across here is our new x value, like that. So yeah, it looks something uh, like that. So then this x minus the h is going to be x minus h. This is exactly the same as well, x minus h. So basically, we move this over by x minus h. And then this becomes x minus h moved over as well. And similarly for the y side as well, this is the k value up top. So then this whole shifted is, yeah, this whole thing is shifted by k. So this one, we're just shifting it up by k all the way across here. And this distance from the top to bottom, this is just y minus k. So yeah, yeah, that's just my y minus k over there. In other words, what we end up having now is this uh, is just the y coordinate of this point, And this is the x coordinate. So in other words, at right here is going to be the coordinates x minus h and y minus k. Yeah, so that's all that we've done here. Notice is is this we started with the x and y coordinates, and now we've shifted this and made this uh, equal to now at this point is going to be equal to x minus h and y minus k like that. And then this uh, occurs at, at every single point. So if you keep moving this all the way around, and then we just get a, a virtual ellipse. You could uh, you could say. So then basically. All we're doing is replacing x and y with this new one here. So that means that this new, uh, yeah, this new ellipse is shifted over, and we have this x minus h squared, and then a squared plus y minus h, uh, y minus k squared over v squared equals to one. So yeah, when we shift the origin, all we're doing is changing the x and y. So when you change the x and y, so you could just change these, that's going to be the new one over there, like that. And in red is showing that when we do change it, and then basically the old one it just becomes x uh, minus h, and so on. So yes, very, very interesting stuff. And I'll just uh, circle this first. So that this is essentially what we have there. So again, notice that in shifting the ellipse, we just replace x by x minus h, and y by y minus k like that. And in other words, to obtain the new values x and y of the ellipse, we need to add h to every x value and add k to every y value. So when we do shift this over here, so now to get from here to here, we just need to add h to every single one of these x values and k over to here so that we just shift this, shift this over. Yeah, so in other words, what we have, I'll put this giant bracket like this. So if this is x, and minus h. This could be our old, so now we've replaced it. This is going to be our old coordinates, and we add h for the new ones, and then the old one as well for the y, y minus k, and then plus k at every single time. Then this becomes x and y, like this equals x, y, and these are our uh, new values. New values over here. And then over here, these are our old ones. And I'll write this as old. Um, let's put this like this arrow there, and arrow here. Old uh, x, y values. And those are the new x, y values. So now, or also another note, uh, if, if h equals to k and equals to 0, then well then, there is no shift. Yeah, there is no shift, and the origin. Yeah, yeah. Basically, you're not shifting anything, and then the origin, and the origin, origin zero zero is still the center. Still, the center right there. 
Yeah, and you can see this basically. If these are all zero, then you're not adding or subtracting anything, and it's just going to remain over here. In other words, you're shifting by nothing. <laughs> so, anyways, that is all for today. If you uh, wrap your head around this, it's uh, actually very simple, but try trying to visualize uh, this with uh, exact algebra to use and um, uh, exact equations is a bit tricky. But yeah, hopefully you follow along and uh, yeah, caught up. Anyway, that's all for today. Uh, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link in the description below, as well as viewing these notes on Steam and in article format. Also, make sure to check out my private Discord chat room, as well as my cool math, uh, math and science forums there. And yeah, post any cool math or science stuff you find. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.